and today I have a Monday makeover for you. Bet you can't guess which palette I'm using today. It is the new Mermaid palette by I Heart Revolution. I showed this in a recent haul video. There it is, all nine beautiful colours. So, yeah. Um, I did swatch this on my haul video, so if you want to see swatches, go and have a look at that. But today it is just a Monday makeover video. So let me stop waffling and let's get on with the tutorial.
is the finished look for my mermaid uh, palette from I Heart Revolution. I was going to add some lashes, but they weren't playing nicely today. Um, so the ones I were going to use were the Ursula ones from the pound shop. Um, but they weren't playing nicely and I didn't want to ruin the eye look messing about with it too much. On my lips, I have the, uh, you will have seen these in a video recently, um, items I never intend or want to pan. And that is my I Heart Revolution Liquid Lip in Siren. And that is the main colour on my lips. And then the shiny bit in the centre is just a little bit of, uh, again, I Heart Revolution Mystical Mermaid Lipstick in Aquadisiac, which is this one. So, yeah, that is my lips. I thought, well, if you're going to go mermaid eyes, might as well go mermaid lips. And I think actually, it, it, it yeah, it looks nice. I like it. So... My thoughts on this I Heart Mermaid palette. I do have another mermaid palette by I Heart Revolution. One moment. So this is it. It is the Mermaid's Heart palette. And it looks like that. So there are the two palettes side by side. Um, I would say that this one, this new nine pan one, is much better quality. The colours on this one apply so much nicer than this one. Um, the blue, for a start off, this blue just blends beautifully in the outer corner. It doesn't blend away, it stays true to colour, it doesn't blend out. Um, to the point of you can't see it very well whereas I found the blues especially this dark blue here in the mermaid's heart palette when I tried to apply that uh, in an eye look previously it kind of blended out to almost nothing and not being there which for a dark blue like this I was kind of truly disappointed so I haven't really had much of a play with this palette um, because of that but this one, uh, I can see me taking this on holiday. I can see me playing with this an awful lot. It is dusty. There's a lot of kick up on the um, on the shadows when you're dipping your brush in. But they are absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. So um, really nice to blend and to... Um, to, to play with this shade here when I did some swatches in my haul video that shade didn't swatch very well and I was kind of like oh that looks like a really nice shade as well um, and it didn't swatch very well but on the eyes I used it in my crease and my goodness it is the best crease colour I have found in such a long time. It is absolutely stunning. It doesn't swatch very nicely, but oh my God, it applies on the eyes so beautifully. And that's where it counts, isn't it? So um, yeah, this shade here is an absolutely stunning inner corner highlight. It's just like kapow, and there it is. And this uh, sort of like pinky white is really nice brow bone highlight. It just lifts the brows a little bit. Um, obviously, I didn't play with this dark maroon shade. And I didn't play with this um, golden shade up here. But there's always another day. And I can guarantee I will be wearing this on my eyes again in the future. So that is my Monday makeover using this palette. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.